hi everyone thank you for uh joining this uh, very interesting uh, webinar today we are very very excited to uh, have you on board my name is Ria Giridis and I am uh, the international, international marketing manager for UNICAF. Um, I hope that these challenging times with the pandemic and all uh, will soon be behind us. And I want to wish you, first of all, health and, and safety. So uh, we have here today um, our UNICAF University Zimbabwe team. Uh, we have Diana, the marketing and business uh, manager. We have Douglas and Tino, uh, marketing officers. Hi, guys. Um, Diana, would you like Hi, to yeah. introduce yourself to our participants and say a few words about Unicaf University uh, in Zimbabwe? Thank you, Ria. Um, I'm Diana Marazi, the marketing manager for Unicaf University, Zimbabwe. I'd like to welcome you all to today's webinar. Um, time is a precious commodity, which most of us never have enough of. So we are hoping to learn a lot uh, from Dr. Ursula's presentation. So just to give you a big... <laughs> She's raring to go, guys. She's <laughs> raring to go. So just to briefly introduce ourselves... Um, Ria rightly said that we are UNICAF University Zimbabwe. So UNICAF is a global educational institution and we have campuses uh, in three African countries. We are in Zambia, Malawi, and now in Zimbabwe. We also have learning centers across Africa. Uh, so we've got eight other learning centers outside of um, Zimbabwe, of which Zimbabwe is now a campus. We have been provisionally accredited by the Zimbabwe Council for Higher Education. And we are based at nine, number 99, Jason Moyer. So for all of you who, um, who will have some time after you learn about time management, create some time to come through after, of course, you know, like um, this pandemic craziness has subsided, you know, we've got social distance uh, rules. But after that, we are always welcome to host you and show you around. So what do we offer as UNICAF? Uh, we offer... Uh, bachelor's, de bachelor's degrees, we've got postgraduate degrees. And on top of that, guys, we have such generous scholarships. Our main mode of delivery is online. So if you are to register or decide to take up a course or a, a degree program or a postgrad with us, you can learn online. And you know, online is the way to go now with this new pandemic where we are unable, or rather we are restricted on those face-to-face -face events. So it's definitely the new normal. We are part of that new normal. Online is part of that new normal. Feel free to contact us after this. We will also contact you to tell you more about our university and how you can be a part of this futuristic uh, university. Uh, once again, welcome. I would like you to relax, sit back, enjoy, ask as many questions as you may, you may please. Dr. Usla is here just to talk to you today about time management. And I'm sure we're all going to learn something new because learning is a continuous process. Thank you so much for that, Ria. Over, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. Very well said. Um, so uh, our speaker today is uh, UNICAF uh, tutor, Dr. Ursula Schinzel. Uh, Dr. Ursula is an in independent multicultural and multilingual teacher who speaks seven languages. Uh, she holds a doctorate in business administration and began her teaching career after more than 20 years in the banking sector and industry. So before Dr. Ursula begins, I would like to inform you that we can use a question and answer uh, uh, button. Um, if you want to ask a question, if you want to comment during the webinar, uh, you can do so freely. And uh, if you will be unmuted, as I've already mentioned, you will be unmuted uh, on mute because we want to avoid background noises. But uh, Dr. Ursula will be asking questions, and I uh, will giving uh, will give you permission to respond uh, if somebody raises uh, the little hand uh, and wants to respond and wants to comment. I will give you permission to do that. So um, enjoy the webinar, and Dr. Ursula, the floor is yours. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ria, for this wonderful introduction and also Diana. Thank you very much for having me today. It's a great honor and a great pleasure. And we are going to have an interactive webinar. Um, you are invited to participate and I do not want you to sleep. So please be active. 
do not sleep, don't go away, don't switch off. Okay, so it's about time management and work and life balance, very difficult. And um, we are going to see how we can maybe manage. So what we are going to do is first thing, start with a question. Who feels that there is stress in the morning when you get ready, your kids, yourself, breakfast, get ready for school, get the, everybody out and so on. Can, can I see some people, some hands to tell us about your experiences in the morning? And Ria is going to unmute. Yes, let me see. Uh, so, so I have Noble here. Let me allow Noble to uh, speak. It's going to take a few seconds uh, mm -hmm. uh, to unmute. Noble, can you hear us? Hi. Noble, can, can you hear us? We cannot hear him. We cannot hear Noble. No. Can you? Okay. Maybe All right. you take somebody else, Ria? Yes, let me uh, allow uh, Charity uh, to speak. Uh, we have one well, no, two seconds to unmute. Charity and Cheta. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Diana, if I'm correct. We can hear you. Okay. Yeah, I can identify with um, this issue, especially working and uh, studying as a teacher. I had to wake up like 5 a.m. in the morning to prepare for school, and I had like a little boy. And um, my wife had to cook, you know, and I had to help her out take care of the baby boy and the, the whole stress and the whole thing, yes, I can identify with this. Thank you I know very how it much, feels. yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, Charity. Uh, no, Cheddar. so can we hear from Charity now? Charity, can you hear us? Not for the moment. Yeah, it takes a few, few seconds for uh, mm -hmm. the unmute button to work. Okay. Charity, we can hear you. Okay, if there is no answer, maybe we can go further, Ria, or yes. somebody else? So Tar Tarizai, I, can hear, I, I think we can hear Tarizai. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, hello yes. everyone. Hi. Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. I, I can relate to this question because I'm someone who has to wake up at 5, 5 a.m. in the morning every day, make sure my three kids are ready for school. Then when they are gone comes the father, I have to make sure everything for him is ready as well. Then when he's gone, everyone else is gone. Now it's my turn. It's like that by the time everyone is gone, maybe you have to start waking on yourself. You are already tired in the morning. So I, I can relate to this. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you. much, yes. Uh, uh, Tarisai, uh, and it's six o'clock in the morning and you are already done. You're already so tired, you could go good to sleep again. Yeah, exactly. That's how it is. So thank you very much for uh, your uh, comments and participations. That is exactly um, what happens. It's every day and then it's every week and every month and every year. It's always the same. So in the morning, getting up, getting the kids ready for school, drive, work to school, to work, and then work, and then you have lunch and so on. So the, the next question is, um, who has the impression that you are always busy? And what do we have time for? And especially what do you not have time for? 
Maybe we can have a, a small um, discussion about that, Ria. You can unmute me. Yes, people, uh, I'm going to try and unmute. Um, let me see. All right, we can hear Munia Radzi. Uh, I do feel that uh, I'm always busy and uh, usually I'm, I'm unstuck within my studies such that when I was uh, doing my internship, I would see that uh, most of my time was being taken by my studying rather than learning from my internship. Thank you very much. Yes. Somebody um, else, Ria, maybe? Yes, let me try and unmute Noble once again. And let's see uh, if we can uh, have Percy uh, speaking. Hi, Percy. Hi, how are you? Hi, can you speak a bit louder, please? Uh, yes, I, I'm, also, I'm also one of those people who are ever busy. I leave home at, six, at about six o'clock in the morning. I work in a retail. We knock off at around 8 p.m. I am an ACCA student and studying is a bit, it's a bit horrible because you, when you return home, you are tired. I have a family to attend to places the stomach. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, let's try one more time with uh, Noble. Noble, can you hear us? I think there's something wrong. Oh, oh hi. No. Hi, can you hear us? Noble. Yeah, there's, there must be something wrong with the microphone. And in any event, let's proceed. Okay, very good. To the next so, question. Thank you very much, Ria. Thank you very much, Percy. And... Um, uh, talking about uh, that you're always busy and uh, talking about how maybe you can improve your time management skills. It is by assessing how you spend your time. So you take an agenda, also can be on paper, and you write down what you do, when, every day, every week, every month, month and every year. So that you see exactly where does your time go, like in this um, agenda that you see on the screen. And then uh, think about what you do have enough time for, and especially then start talking and thinking about it. It is very helpful to talk about these things with your family and also with your friends. What do you have time for? And then also start talking and thinking about what do you not have time for? So what happens? Yeah, so why do you not have time for the things? And then um, always, you think you are always busy and it's maybe because you, you do underestimate how long a task takes. Because unfortunately, and I can really um, confirm that, <laughs> it usually takes longer than estimated. Yeah, you might think that takes five minutes and then you are go, gone and it takes much longer. So I would like to give you some ideas, some thoughts. That is, look where your time goes and write it down improve your estimates. Don't say, oh, that takes only five minutes and you know it takes five days. Mm? So <laughs> is it too easy or is it too difficult? That also, it's very important. Um, um, if you want to repair, for example, me, I'm a, a bicyclist. If I want to repair my bicycle that is broken, oh no, it takes five minutes, but it doesn't take five minutes to repair, repair the bicycle. It always takes longer because it never works the way out that I wanted to do it. And just a little bit, hmm. Okay, I try to just a little bit repair my bike and then I try to cycle again, but that doesn't work. Yeah, so that just a little bit is not always the best uh, solution. 
then um, you have your deadlines and you try to meet them, meet more of your deadlines. Yeah, if it's 12 o'clock, then it's 12 o'clock and it's not one o'clock or so. And you have all of us, I suppose you have a to-do list, you take a piece of paper and a pen and you write down what you want to do. Everybody knows that te technique and I don't want to introduce that to you because you all know it. But the to-do list is not so bad, but then you have to prioritize. Write the to-do list, but put on top what you want to do really and what is your priority. And then you rewrite the list with your priority on top and how long that task will take and by when you want to have it finished. And then the question is, do you expect a miracle? Yeah, of course not, because um, there are no miracles. Huh? So um, next question, where Ria will or again unmute. Yes, so... Uh, where do you waste time? Yeah. We have Chichi, yes. uh, I, I, if I am uh, pronouncing the name correctly. Can you hear us? Hi. Chichi. Let's see who I've lost. Who, let me see uh, some hands. Who wants to respond to this question? Yeah, how, how do you waste time on, on what and also on whom and be honest? Yes, I can hear. Hi. Hi, um, let's hear from Saba, can you hear us? I'm just trying to unmute as many people as possible so that, uh, and Tam Sanka, whoever. Uh, okay, should I? Yes, yes, please. Yes. Yeah. Okay. please state your name so that we know who we are speaking okay. to. Okay, good afternoon, this is Saba. Hi, Saba. Uh, from Karachi, Pakistan, hello. Uh, hi. Hi, uh, okay, H who, how do we waste our time? We waste a lot of time on the phone. Either we are busy answering messages or we are on the uh, we are on call. That's how I mostly waste my time. But these days I'm trying to be more productive and I'm just timing myself with everything I do and I avoid um, spending my time on the phone. Instead, I'm mostly I'm attending a lot of webinars these days. I'm giving interview. I'm uh, I'm I'm going for uh, I I go for workouts. I spend most of my time with my family. I spend time reading books. So, you know, I am trying to uh, spend my time uh, in a very productive way instead of wasting it on the phone. But that we most of the most of the time we waste most of our time is wasted on the phone, mostly. Yes. That's what I feel. Yeah, because people are stealing your time. That's why I often tend to write messages instead of phoning it takes less time. <laughs> yeah, true. Mm. Thank you very much, Saba. Let's hear from Mitchell. Hi. Hi. Hello. My name is Mitchell. Uh, to, to answer your question, most times I waste my time mainly when, uh, let's say, I want to, to research on something online using my phone or using my, my laptop. Messages then pop up maybe on social media, on my WhatsApp, I then tend to maybe follow those messages and forget that I was working on something serious. By the time I then go back to finish up my work, I may spend more time than I had planned to. So maybe instead of uh, taking two hours working on something, I might end up maybe using maybe up to three to four hours doing something that I could have done for lesser. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mitchell. Indeed, yes. All right. Uh, would you like to proceed, uh, Dr. Ursula? Yes, of course, with pleasure. So, as we just did, we think about where and on whom we waste our time and be honest. Huh? Also, if it's on whom and if it's your best uh, friend. Um, I once had a friend, she always came to ring at my door and then she sat there for tea and it was not five minutes, it was for hours. And um, 
that, that is very delicate to tell these people not to show up on your doors anymore and not to, to steal so much time. Or they phone, as we just heard from Saba, they phone and then instead of taking two minutes phone call, it takes two hours because they tell you, I don't know what. So do a time audit for one day, for example, and write down exactly where your time is going, to whom and to what, and notice where you spend your time on a regular weekday. And then also on a weekend, on Saturday, Sunday, or if it's Friday, Sunday, Saturday, whatsoever, on a free day. Now, for me, I don't have weekends, for example, I'm working every day. So I write it down for a free day and if it's a Tuesday. So then take these results, and think about where you might want to re redistribute a little bit of your free time. What could you do if you had a little bit more time to spend? Yeah, yeah. we we have uh, Mercy. I don't know if uh, this. Yeah, Mercy, would you like to speak? Yes. Um... I spend my time actually when I'm not busy doing gardening, especially when I'm at home. I enjoy gardening. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mercy. Thank you, Mercy. And we also have privilege. Yes, please. Privilege, we can hear you. Hi. Privilege. Can you hear me? Hello. How Hi. You? Good, thank yeah. you. And you? How? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, on the previous question, I think um, I also have the same problem. Um, sleeping time. <laughs> I think um, I'm spending a lot of time sleeping and um, being on social media, you know. <laughs> so. I keep on like uh, saying I'll do, let me like increase about an hour and then I wake up. Sometimes I do wake up, yes, and read in the morning, but I, <laughs> it's kind of hard to me. So I keep on postponing time, but let me say, I, I can say uh, I wake up at night and then I have to know, let me wait and then 10. <laughs> I'll be on social media and of course, and I'm a, I'm a student, uh, I mean, university student, I'm doing online learning. So I, sh I think this is <laughs> wasting my time. Thank you. Thank you very much, Privilege. I just want to, uh, hi. hi. I, I personally, this is Saba. Hi, Saba. Uh, I personally feel that we're wasting a lot of time on social media, such as uh, we're spending a lot of time on social media platforms, such as Facebook, Instagram. Half the time, talking to each other. Instead of doing these things, I think we should time ourselves and try to use and try to make use of this time in a very productive way. That's what I feel. Thank you. Thank you very much, Saba. Um, I want to say, uh, we have a few comments here. Um, uh, Noble says, I spend more time reading. Lloyd says, I mostly waste my time reading the news and updates. I also feel like I waste more time socializing with people I live with, of which I also feel it's necessary for our daily living. Um, we also spend a lot of time on social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, that was from Saba. Um, and let's, I think we should, let's, uh, we should proceed uh, until we have another question so that we can give permission to new people, to other people to speak. Yes, perfect. Thank you, Ria. Thank you, everybody, for uh, participating in this very productive uh, discussion. And especially when you see that uh, these people uh, or these things like social media are, way, are, are, are taking your time, then uh, you could uh, say, okay, this takes two hours of my daily time, imagine, or three hours per day, then what could I do, what I would like to do with two hours or three hours or half an hour if I had more time and what would I would like to do with this, yeah? And then this is very interesting if you have that time and I would like to give you some productivity tips because we want to 
get away with something uh, from this webinar. So you give me something, I give you something we, we share. That's a, it's like in love, it's giving and taking. It's not only taking, it's not only giving. So we take and we give and I would like to give you some productivity tips. And um, while I was a student, um, my professor always told me, just sit down and get it started. Don't worry, of course, it will not be perfect the first, from the first minute on, but sit down and get it started. And then try to concentrate. Set goals and concentrate on it and put everything away. Yeah, so these people that ring at your doors or that phone you, just tell them, sorry, from that time to that time, I would like to study and you may help me if you want, or you, you can involve these people, yeah? And especially when I say that you can involve these people, you can talk about your uh, research or about your studies or whatever it is with these people, and then also go to conferences like this webinar uh, that RIA organizes for us. So this is very good to be on, uh, to have the right network of people. So choose your, the network of people that you want to have better. Uh, take some people out of your life, put some more other people into your life, go to the conferences that you want to attend, get other um, perspectives and other people for help. And then while you are waiting somewhere, instead of uh, playing uh, a game on your mobile phone, you could use that time to be productive. And especially with the mobile uh, devices today, we can be really productive while waiting. And another productivity tip is what we also talked about is sleep. So um, sleep more. Even if people around you get upset because you go to sleep early or you go to sleep a nap, don't worry, go sleep. If you need your sleep, if you need your eight hours of sleep, then go to bed. And um, some people joke about me because 9.30, 10 in the evening, I go to bed, I'm tired. I mean, if I get up like uh, Percy or Tahasai at five, at six, of course I am tired at nine o'clock in the night. For me, it's late and I go to bed. And a lot of people are upset with me because I don't stay until midnight or one o'clock, but I'm sorry, I can't. And I, I must admit, I am getting very upset and angry when I do not sleep enough. So a lot of people around me have learned it's better to let uh, Ursula sleep <laughs> when she's tired because otherwise she's just uh, horrible. So, but you have to tell, that's what I'm saying. Communication is a very good um, um, possibility to tell your people around, uh, please give me the sleep I need. And then also, I mean, we all have these wonderful devices and we all use them and they are all wonderful. And um, I love them very much, but it's also good. Uh, there's a saying, if you love somebody, let him go. So it's good to let the smartphone go for a while. Do not uh, go on your smartphone at two o'clock in the night. I mean, if there is something really urgent, it, I think it can wait until uh, five or six o'clock in the morning. And if, if there is a real disaster, I mean, they will know how to contact you if there was a real disaster at two o'clock in the night. I mean, yeah. So take off time from your mobile phone, off time from your friends, off time from your family and uh, from your computer and also from your job and also from your friends and tell them, listen, now I would like to have some peace or I'm going for vacation. Go on vacation with your family, but take off time. And the other thing is also, as I said, communication. Speak with the people around you. Tell them, I would like to do this and that, and say it loud. Don't wait until they guess what you want to have. Uh, that is typical of woman, typical female. You wait until somebody guesses what you really wish. But it's easier for everybody if you say, I would like to have a vacation now, or I need a free hour. Hmm? And then what is really urgent? What is urgent? So sometimes it's really urgent to get half an hour of peace. And then 
Ria and I, we know that when we create new webinars, creativity takes time. You cannot just invent a new webinar in five seconds. I mean, who can do that? Is a liar. I'm sorry. I cannot do it and nobody can. I have never seen anybody in my entire life. So creativity takes time and creativity doesn't fall from the sky. You have to have time for it. Yeah. So that is my productivity tips or are my productivity tips. I can also give you some more. For example, like we heard also before, I don't remember, I think it was um, Saba uh, from Pakistan who said that she goes for workout. That's a very wise um, productivity tip. So go for workout exercise and what you eat, your food that you take to yourself and also the fresh air and then the positive attitude, of course. The balance between your work and your personal life and also yourself. Yeah, it's all a balance between uh, the spirit, the heart, the body, everything. And I'll allow yourself time. And things, love, relationships, friendships, they grow, they take time. You cannot be in love with a person from on the first second. I mean, okay, that happens <laughs> sometimes, but I mean, even then, love or friendship takes time, yeah? And then there are, of course, uh, relaxation techniques like yoga, pilates, stretching. And um, you know maybe that I'm also a sports instructor and I'm teaching all these techniques, so I, I know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, that are, th these are some productivity tips. So, Ria, if you would like to yes. unmute some more yes. people. Uh, before I do that, us, yes, yes. Uh, before I do that, uh, Dr. Ursula, I want to just uh, read a comment uh, from Cheda. I think the greatest casual factor or the highest common factor for time wasting is lack of passion and direction of purpose. And then uh, most of us are yet to find what we are passionate about or a direction of purpose. Some of us are confused and need directions. In the absence of a direction of purpose, we fall in love with social media, sleep, partying or movies, uh, which temporarily helps help us forget the fact that we may be currently useless in the scheme of the things happening in our lives. I believe that once we have direction of purpose, a reason to wake up in the morning, then we would value um, everything that we have, which is a very nice comment. This is so nice, uh, Cheta. And thank you, Ria, for reading this out to us because love, passion, if you are not passionate about what you are doing, you can really say this is a pity. I'm always saying, uh, okay, I'm a very passionate person and maybe I put too much feelings into things. And sometimes I get blessed, I get hurt, I, uh, not blessed, blessed, that's French, uh, blessy, uh, hurt in English. So, um, but if you have no passion with what you do, um, yeah, it's, um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Cheta. Um, all right, let me see uh, some raised hands. Who wants to? Uh, oh. Sorry, sorry, I left for just a second, please. Oh. Uh, you know, I'm at work actually, so okay. on my mask. So <laughs> <laughs> no problem. They just, they just called me out now, so. Uh, I shared some of my ideas on why we waste time. It happens to me. For many years, I had no direction of purpose. I kept doing one thing and the other. I really wanted to uh, have a reason why I wake up in the morning. You know? But for many years, I had no reason to wake up in the morning. So I kind of flow with the tide of life. I tried many things, but then I find myself always doing things that really waste my time. But I really don't care that I time. You know, I think it, this is uh, maybe it happens to most people or some people that I know. We waste time because we, we have nothing to do with the time that we waste. Most of the people that I have spoken to
There's a bit of they had no direction of purpose in their life. They don't even know what they want to be. They want to be many things and they don't want to be anything. So I believe that if people have um, an idea or a direction of purpose, have a reason, have something they are looking forward to, have, have a reason to wake up in the morning, then they can be able to value every single time Thank very you. nice. Thank it's you very so much. So nice, Cheta, what you are saying. That's thank you so much. Meeting. I have like four. Okay, thank you. Yeah. You are talking thank out you. of my heart. <sighs> thank you. All right. Um, let me see uh, a few more hands. Who wants to share some productivity tips? Who wants to make uh, suggestions? Um, Taurai also, uh, she said she's coming late. Uh, you are going to get the recording of this webinar afterwards, yes, in a few days' time. Uh, Victor, let me just try to um, unmute you. Uh, I think you will be able to speak in a few minutes. Uh, Mitchell. And Victor, hi, we can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I'd like to share a few productivity tips. This is all to do with teamwork and uh, what do you call it? Uh, you need to train your staff, subordinates and everything so that with the time management, everything is in place. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Victor. Mitchell, we can hear you. Uh, with the, when it comes to more productivity tips, I think what one can do is to maybe try and find things to do that uh, maybe for personal development, things that add value to their lives rather than spending time on things that, that do not necessarily give, that do not necessarily, that they can get something from. So for example, I'm somebody who likes to, to explore. I like to try new things. So I can even try maybe something like writing a book, something that I've not done before. So that means I know that I'm going to get something that is better than just spending time maybe on social media or doing things that are not really helpful. So that can be a tip for to some that may say that they do not know what to spend their time on or they have too much time uh, in their space or maybe they are not employed so they don't know what to do. So they just have to try something else different. They have to try something that is value to, to their life than spending time on social media and other silly things. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, Michelle. And let's hear from Tendai and then we can move on. Tendai? Okay. Thank you. Hi. Um, how are you? Good. Thank you. I want to talk about uh, productivity. Uh, from my experience, I'm a lecturer in um by profession. Um, when you're first, first with a challenging work, sometimes procrastination is actually the key challenge here. Like you want to write a paragraph, but you don't know how to start. I mean, it's so difficult. It's like a demon if you want to start. You just find simple things or easier things to, to, to look at, to avoid the key task which will be at hand. So I think the best thing is get started. How difficult it might be, just get started when you're in it's actually it's easier. The first step is actually the one which is very difficult. So that's, um, I think, my suggestion on how to get things going, especially if you want to talk about writing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sendai. Okay, Dr. Ursula. Yes, so thank you very much. And uh, we have uh, also already spoken about the sleep and uh, the recovery um, as productivity tip and um, um, also the re relaxation techniques and the mini breaks and lengthy breaks and uh, the, the fresh air, the opening up of the window and so on. And um, I would like uh, to introduce to you, uh, and this is uh, then, uh, we are already coming more or less to the end of the webinar, um, one uh, productivity tip that I really like, that's the highlight technique. So you put, you plan your day, then you laser and you energize. You think, but 
you plan your day with a highlight. In every day, I show you next slide. So you have your day, you plan it. And somewhere on your day, you know, 24 hours, I mean, of course you sleep, but uh, this is from um, this book, uh, Make Time, uh, that I recommend from Jake, um, uh, Knapp, uh, Jake and Zeratsky John, and it uh, Make Time. It's an excellent book that I really recommend. Um, you put a highlight to your day. For example, my highlight is, I must say, this webinar. The highlight of my day today is the webinar, and I hope it's also maybe um, the highlight of some of you. Maybe not everybody, you can be honest, don't worry. <laughs> but for me, it's my highlight. And then you laser. What means that? Or oh, focus. My today's focus from one to 10, how much did I focus or do I focus on this highlight? Is it one, so not a lot, or 10, is it a lot? And then you energize. So how much energy did I put into it? And uh, I think Ria and I, we put a lot of energy <laughs> into it and a lot of laser. And then I write it down. I write down, did I do everything? Did I really, the 10, uh, 10 out of 10, did I really do everything I could have done to make it a success? Was it a success? Or write down what happened? Why wasn't it perfect? Why was it only five out of 10? Or why was it four out of 10? Or was it nine out of 10? What happened that it was not 10 out of 10? Yeah, and then I have a chance to eval evaluate, sorry, evaluate this and make it better next time. Yeah, and then the tactics to try tomorrow. And then um, in, in the book, they also say, and I like that very much, if something is really good, then I can redo to yesterday. So if I liked really was what I had been doing yesterday and if it really was perfect day, then I can just copy paste and do it again. There is no problem in doing yesterday again. So that is a productivity tip and maybe you want to, to say something about that or yeah. Uh, let me just uh, uh, just read one comment uh, from Margaret. Uh, for me, one of the uh, one productivity tip I can share is to know your priorities, especially your free time, uh, for you to be able to do your plans within your available time. Through that, we can do things that are important. Um, so that's a nice comment there. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, thank you very, very much, Dr. Ursula. I think we can move on to a couple of questions uh, that uh, participants have uh, been asking. Uh, so from uh, Tamsanka, time management and remote working in this COVID era, how best can, can we deal with issues of time given intermittent internet connections? Yeah. I fully understand and uh, when I have no internet here, then I completely panic. And then I take my bicycle and I go for a very long bicycle ride <laughs> to, to forget my frustration. So that is my way of dealing with the frustration. You, you, get, you, you get away for a, a short period of time, <laughs> yes, all right. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, let me see. How can you balance busy uh, work and health? That's from Victor. Many people are too tired to do anything after work. Yeah, when you are too tired, um, I mean, uh, why don't you go to sleep? I mean, that is maybe the, the one and the best thing to do, even if it's seven o'clock in the evening. Who cares? I mean, just go to sleep. All right, thank you. Uh, Christina has a contribution here. Uh, she says, uh, make a, a checklist for a day. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, Alexis, I saw some post in a random research between productivity and productivity caused by high anxiety. For you, how should people handle these types of productivity? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the two comments are um, related. Um, you do your checklist and when you put, when you write down your checklist, as I just said also before, uh, rewrite the checklist and prioritize. 
put the number one on the number one. So you rewrite what you want to do in the day. And then you do the number one first. And your emails or the things that are not so important, if it's, I don't know, washing the dishes or cleaning the floor, I don't know, give it a name and don't be shy. Give it a name, write it down. And then you do the priority number one first. And you, then you write also down, like I said, with the highlight uh, laser, write down why it worked, why it didn't work, how much did I put energy on it. And then um, maybe the anxiety goes away. Because um, if the priority number one was to wash the dishes, then you should put it on priority, priority number one and start with that one. Yeah. But if the priority number one was to attend the webinar, then you should maybe wash the dishes after. Yeah, and don't wash the dishes first and then uh, come late to the webinar and then you have uh, humid hands and you maybe you are not perfect for the webinar. So um, you see, and then with all this comes the frustration and the anxiety. So put the priority first, do it first, concentrate, laser on it, put everything away. All right, thank you very much. Um, let me see because I think I have, all right, I have one more comment here from Privilege. Allocate time to everything that you do. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. That's what I also said in the beginning. Um, uh, get better estimates how long things take. Uh, don't say washing the dishes takes only five minutes. If you have a pile huge like that, it takes one hour. I mean, also if you have a dishwasher, but somebody has to put the things into it, somebody has to take it out, it washes, um, yeah, or the washing machine to wash your clothes, it takes time to put the things in, to dry, to put them away. Um, it takes half an hour or one hour. It doesn't take two minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> That's right. the issue. Yeah. Okay, uh, I have one final question. This Please. is a difficult one, uh, Dr. Ursula. Okay, okay, uh, let's Sava, go for the difficult at the end. <laughs> Sava is asking, uh, while moving a, a little away from the topic, I thought of asking you this question. How are these webinars helpful, helpful for us in finding jobs overseas? Yes, um, this is very interesting because uh, as I was preparing the next webinar on how to develop myself, uh, Ria, that's maybe one of yes. the next <laughs> topics, how to develop myself. I was exactly working on that and that is very, on that issue and on that question, a very good Saba. So uh, you have to think about where you want to live. So overseas, everybody wants to come maybe overseas, or I don't know where you want to go to, but reflect on where you want to live. And I am also living in a place that I have chosen um, after having moved around several times. So I'm not original from the place where I live now, and I have come here because I have chosen the place for several reasons. So make a list maybe if you want to move somewhere, but don't lie to yourself because a lot of people uh, who come to the place where I am now, they only see the huge amount of money they could maybe earn here. But when you see the huge amount of money that real estate or lodging, living, housing costs, uh, everybody runs away and fast. When you see how much you have to work hard, Nobody wants to stay here. And I once asked somebody just over the border and he said, oh, where are you from? And I said, oh, I'm from, I'm from Luxembourg, yeah. And he said, oh my God, who wants to live in Luxembourg? And that is exactly the point I wanted to say. Do not um, underestimate the costs of living. I once went to Norway Everybody wants to work in Norway because of the huge salaries. But when I went to the McDonald's and I wanted to buy a, a cheeseburger and the cheeseburger costed 25 euros, 
<laughs> I'm not kidding. It costed 25 euros, the cheeseburger that wow. you can get in the United States for maybe one dollar. Mm. Huh? So it was 25 or 30 times more expensive. I was not hungry anymore. Mm. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and um, don't underestimate the cost of living of the places you wish to go, even if the money maybe is huge. At the beginning, it seems to be huge, but then at the end, it is really small. So think it over if you want to go overseas. And these webinars help exactly um, to discuss these issues because before moving and leaving everything behind you, you should have considered all the points because of moving. And I have moved, um, I have moved, I think, 20 times in my life. So I know what I'm talking about. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and but you friends, finally settled down. Yeah, I settled down, but I don't know if I definitely settled down because everything is so expensive here. I think I'm going away also <laughs> again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another I move not, then. Oh, I will move again. I think I will come to Cyprus. <laughs> why not? Yes, why not? Cyprus is nice. Uh, it's sunny. Yeah. <laughs> not, not, you don't need 25 euros for a McDonald's burger. So, yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, I, I do have um, one more question from Niasha. I have four distinct phases that I use before my day begins. Exploration, planning, action, and integration. Do they work to have a productive day? Exploration is always very good. That helps for creativity. Then the planning, of course. Planning and strategy. Aria, we were talking also about a strategy webinar, maybe. Of course, action. You have to do something. And the integration, always integrate other people. Always discuss. It is very important, the networking. As we said, get, get the right people. Like we are here in this webinar, get the right people to discuss the things that are on your heart. And the anxiety, anxiety that we talked before often goes away. Um, talking about Luxembourg, Luxembourg is one of the, is unfortunately, I suppose, I think, the, 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 the country with the highest suicide rate. Nobody talks about it, but we have a huge suicide rate in Luxembourg. And people suicide for many um, problems and issues. But we always talk about that issue with friends. And I, we, we always say, before jumping down the bridge, you should have talked to somebody. And then you maybe would not have jumped, yeah? So that's a productive day. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ursula. Thank you very much, uh, everyone. Uh, let me just say here that uh, because uh, Gerard is asking for the presentation, we will be sending you the link to this presentation if you go, want to go through it again. And uh, for all, those of you that uh, have uh, stayed in the webinar, we will be sending you uh, a certificate of attendance. Um, I would like to thank you uh, for joining this webinar. I would like to thank Dr. Ursula, of course, uh, and the team uh, in Zimbabwe.